WBZ is the only local TV station with a practicing physician on staff. Here's Dr. Malika Marshall with David Wade answering some of your questions about the coronavirus. Uh, Judith asks on Facebook, I've been exposed to it twice and I don't have coronavirus symptoms. Could I be immune to it? So Judith is a perfect example of someone we would love to be able to use one of these antibody tests on. We do know that up to 25% of people infected with coronavirus don't exhibit symptoms. Um, it's certainly possible that you were exposed, but you never got infected, or maybe you were infected, but you were one of those people that ne never developed symptoms, or perhaps you were exposed and just haven't developed symptoms yet, but we certainly hope that that is not the case. All right, doctor, and Sandy writes in saying everyone talks about coughing and sneezing into a tissue or the bend of your arm. How long does the virus last on your clothing? When you sneeze, do you need to wash that clothing? Question. We don't really know how long it lasts on clothing, probably less time than it lasts on hard surfaces like plastic or metal. Um, but it's probably a good idea if you've been out and about and you think that some of the virus might have potentially touched your clothing, maybe you've brushed up against something or someone's been coughing nearby, for you to wash your clothes when you get home. Certainly when I get back from the clinic, I immediately put my clothes in the wash and a regular laundry cycle should be enough to get rid of the virus. That's a good point. You see people sort of using their sleeve to push open doors but it's probably a good idea to wash that clothing after uh, Denise says I live alone do I Absolutely. really have to wear a mask when I walk my dog or when I hit senior hour at the supermarket when things are at their cleanest with the least amount of people I loved imagining her at senior hour. Um, yes, unfortunately, you do need to wear a mask if you're going out and you're going to potentially be near anyone. And again, remember, the mask is more to protect people around you from you in case you are infected, even if you don't have symptoms. But you're relying on the other people around you to be wearing masks so that they're protecting you as well. So we're sort of all in this together, and I think we all need to be mindful to try to wear some sort of mask covering when we're out in public. Feels like a lot of people are looking for that little loophole that says they don't have to do certain things, but everyone has to sort of stick together on this. Dr. Malika, thank you so much for your insight.